Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I would like to, before I get into any more than that in our introductions and everything, uh, on behalf of from Milwaukee to Nashville, I would like to wish you all a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Um, normally, we do a small little skit video or something like that, but me and John had way too much fun yesterday just hanging out and talking. Mm -hmm. So uh, we never got to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably a good thing given all the uh, drinks uh, consumed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but also, I want to take a minute and second here to just say something really quick because it's something that's been on my mind a little bit. Um, I wanted to sit here and thank all the troops, men and women uh, across, this, across the world who are serving our great nation here um, and, and spend time away from their holidays to keep our country safe. Thank you to them so much. You guys sacrifice more than I could ever ask you to do so. So thank you. Um, I just wanted to say that as well. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 404-800-7585. I'm Daniel Goodemont, and over there I got John. <clears throat> John, how hey. are your holidays? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'd say our holidays was pretty good. Outside of the nothing to do. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, we had all these like set in stone games, and then they went. Nope, 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 nope. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, so that is why we haven't been here. Um, also, the reason we didn't do a video, I think that one day is I was decorating my tree with my family and didn't get to watch much of the game. So it was better off that we did a graphic because I didn't want to put on a bad show for you guys. Sorry about that, but family first. Always. Um, I love doing this, but family first. Right. So um, first thing I wanted to get into is the NHL is bringing back the taxi squad. Um, before I get into a game we had today that we didn't know about till what? Nine o'clock this morning? Yeah. Well, we didn't know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people knew, but we didn't. All right. So the rules of the taxi squad, they can wear allowed up to six players, five skaters, one goalie. Um. In the league shortened season last year, uh, the minor, the squad players will be counted uh, as being in the minors for salary cap. So um, it will not hurt them salary cap wise. Uh, no player, the, they will allow to be on the taxi squad for a maximum of 20 days. The new taxi squads are set to be in effect through at least the all-star break in early February. The all-star break in early February uh, gives us uh, all-star week as what? Four days off and then we got a couple games to cover? I much. think so. Just cover the all-star game at that point. Um, but uh, it's a good chance for some young guys if you know the team is unable to have uh, also, in addition, the league well, they will still, teams will also be allowed to be permitted as long as they are any team that is unable to have at least 12 players or 12 forwards, six defensemen, and two goalies will be able to bring up a player from the American Hockey League to prevent them from being a game with less than 18 skaters. Right. Teams may now also make emergency call recalls of players with a salary cap of up to a million dollars and an increase of a from 850,000 cap hit that was previously limited. Uh, so basically, if say you're making a uh, you know league minimum for a rookie, um, your bump pay could get bumped to a million dollars if you stay. Right. On an emergency call, so you'll make a little pay pay. Uh, you know. Um, uh, they are not going to the Olympics. Uh, that is another thing uh, I, I, we've kind of shot around a little bit. Um, they're not going to Olympics. So I'm going to say with this current moment, uh, they are probably going to fill that time period with all of the canceled games from this time period. Probably. Which is fine by us as long as we're given notice. You know? 
And I think that's why they took the extra day. You take the extra day, you're able to cancel. You know, every team in the league was supposed to play on on, on tomorrow. So every team in the league was supposed to play tomorrow. Um, that's now not happening. So now every team has a game they can fit into that slot. Right. So that's actually a good thing. Um, if you don't have canceled games, they may move your game to an earlier date if the other teams are uh, permitting it, obviously, travel-wise. Right. Um, no teams traveled from America to Canada and Canada to America until after the new year. So there's another part there for you guys as well. Uh, my personal opinion of that is I really don't have one. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it because I don't agree with it. Right. I don't um, in other news, uh, so uh, our show's from Milwaukee to Nashville, but we're calling this one from Florida to Milwaukee. Florida Everblades fans, Merry Christmas. You guys get a gift from us. <laughs> Um, today, the Florida Everblades took on the Orlando Solar Bears. In our system, this was the only game today on the docket. Um, this game was actually brought to our attention at 9 o'clock this morning. I had to call John and, the, and, and uh, his wife to get a game day graphic made for it and everything. I did not have one. Um, I went through the laptop from last year and still couldn't find one. Oh, wow. So that was part of the problem. Otherwise, I would have never called you. I would have just put it <laughs> last year. Yeah. So uh, that was part of the problem this year. You guys get to actually see these stories unfold as it sits, because I didn't even tell him that part. It's no, you didn't. <laughs> I, it that I had to go into the laptop, which he knows how long that thing takes to load. Right. Um. Yeah, they took out the Orlando Solar Bears. This was the Everblades. Uh, chance at winning uh, 1,000 games. The shots were 25 to 23 for the Solar Bears. Uh, scoring in the first was Nathan Perkovich with an assist from Cody McDonald uh, at 159, so two minutes into the game pretty much. Because you drop the puck, you're at two minutes. So it takes a second to drop the puck. Um, then we had uh, Jake McLaughlin, recently reassigned by the Admirals on the 23rd. Sorry, guys, um, we're not getting the notifications for this for some reason. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, uh, with an assist from Joe Pendenza and Alex Alardi. Alex Alardi has been a nice addition to this Everblades team. Yeah. He's done really well points-wise for them. Um, yeah, he is. And then scoring on the power play was Bobo. Mm. Also recently reassigned on the 22nd. As you can see why we're not doing, why, why these guys didn't get graphics. We were on holiday break. <laughs> um, yeah. There's an assist from Levko Koper and Blake Winicky, uh, Robert Carpenter. Carpenter's been a good little back and forth guy for the uh, Admiral system. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I really thank the Everblades for getting Cooley out of his funk because Cooley was in a pretty bad funk up here. And uh, when he came went down there, he's come back and played a lot better. Yeah, he has. So I give him a lot of credit for putting in the work. Um, you know, uh, so then in the second period, nothing in the third scoring was the tough guy, Kyle Newber, with an assist from Jake McLaughlin and Blake Winicky. And I, 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 I'm going to be right back, folks. Um, this is a moment in Everblades history. I, I just got to break it out and I'm going to do it. I haven't done it in a long time. For the old school fans of our show, you know exactly when I break out a hockey stick, what's coming. Scoring at the 934 mark, John McCarron with his 150th goal as an Everblade. 
stick taps to you, my friend. That is a much earned, uh, no goal is easy. Every one of them he has to work for. Right. It doesn't matter what league you play in, every goal you have to work for, unless you're Connor McDavid. He just makes it look easy. He probably works really hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but John McCarron with an assist from Blake Winicky and Jake Yermenko, who is in the top uh, two spot for ECHL rookies right now, Jake Yermenko. So uh, the Everblades pick up the W. Five nothing coming out of the hollow. Hey. Even more stick taps coming. All right, your attendance at Amway Center in Orlando, 7,203. Nice. That is a good crowd for the Everglades. Or yeah. for the Solar Bears. Sorry, Orlando Solar Bears. I'm sure there were Everblades fans there. I'm sure. Um. I wanted to say that the Florida Everblades are were one for two on the power play. Uh, Orlando was 0 for three. Um, your three stars of the game, third star of the game, Nathan Perkovich. Uh, second star of the Blake game, Blake Winicky with three assists. Blake Winicky had three assists. Another good game for him. Yeah. Um, and John McCarron scored, uh, and the number one star with the shutout, Tomas. Vamajka with 25 saves and 25 shots. Uh, in net was Keo Edmonds uh, for the Orlando Solar Bears, stopping 17 of 22. And T. Segoin stopping 101. He's, they only put one shot on net, and he was in for 10 minutes and 26 seconds. Um, so Edmonds led in five. But much stick taps to the entire Everblades organization. Yes. Way to go, guys. Good game. Good way to come back. Uh, we will be back with the Everblades on a regular basis. Um, as long as it's a double, if it's a single night, um, we're going to take that night to our families. Uh, it is always going to be family first for us. Uh, so that just gives us a little more time with our families. Um, as they always say, happy wife, happy life. And me and John are both married. We thank our yeah. wives for letting us do this, but happy wife, right. happy life. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys on Wednesday, if not breaking news in.